Walking Dead. Mid-season finale. How it's gotta be. So, leading up to this episode, I would've been hearing this. The moment that will change The Walking Dead forever. And we like, what what's gonna happen? Who's gonna die? Will they defeat the saviors? It's only mid-season finale, so I figured they're not gonna defeat the saviors. So, I'm like, I know Rick ain't gonna die. Pretty sure Carl not gonna die. Michonne, Daryl. They keep saying though, if Daryl dies, we gonna we gonna uh, riot. So who's gonna die? But we are gonna get to that later on. But let's talk about like everything that's been going on in so the last episodes and stuff. Daryl and them went against Rick's orders. They barged in and rushed the plans basically. So. The saviors end up getting out. It's not all the way because of what Daryl and them did. I think it would have happened anyway, but the, the plans went faster because they had to do something quickly. And who helped them? Bitch ass nigga Eugene. Eugene the whole ass nigga, but he's smart as hell. So he got him out of there. I guess he fixed the intercom systems and used music and stuff to, to um, Hoard them in some kind of way. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for, but just get them, get them a certain way. So they got out, but the episode starts off is basically they got out of there. They go into everybody's communities and they getting their revenge. They stampeding and doing their shit. So they wind up going to Alexandria. And they threatening the Alexandria. They like, look, we're going to kill everybody. We're going to kill people. Look, where's Rick and this and that? We're going we gonna to burn the houses. And, uh, the hilltop is, is pretty safe for now. They haven't ran at the hilltop because the hilltop has a lot of the farming produce and stuff. So they supply food for all the surrounding communities. So they left that alone. They ran up in the uh, kingdom looking for King Ezekiel. So they're trying to take King Ezekiel out. They're like, he the figurehead of the community. We take him out. It's a wrap. They don't have, that's their leader, whatever. One thing I give, I give Negan props about in his community is they have one plain, flat out leader. So they look at him, they take his orders, and they keep it moving. He, he, might, do some, he might do some bullshit and stuff. He got, he got some bullshit with him, but... They listen to them. Like Rick and them, Rick and them had their plans laid out. They did what they had to do. It could have been, I'm pretty sure they might, might have had a few bumps and bruises on the, on the road, but uh, but it, it pretty much could, could have been smooth selling and stuff, but they had people behind his back. And they wanted to, we got to do this, we got to do this, we got to do this, and Everybody want to do their own thing. So that messed up a lot of the plans. One thing I, I have an <laughs> issue with on this episode. It's been on past few episodes too. At the beginning of the episode and the end of the episode. Whenever they show them close-ups of the people. And that sad-ass rock music. Man, get the fuck on with that old bullshit. Like, we, we ain't trying to see up close the emotional distress, how they they taking it in at the time. That's that bullshit. But anyways, so Carl, he winds up taking charge of Alexandria. He gets the people out of there. And he try he distracting Negan and them. So he he's stepping up to the plate. He he takes damage. He he going is he in a distressful situation, man. It's looking bad for Carl. Carl! Carl! It's looking bad for him. We go to King Ezekiel in them place. Looking bad for him, man. They, they run up in there, but King Ezekiel, he's he swift. Pretty swift with it. He, but he winds up. Carol did put a little bit of fight back in him. So he does come out and does what he have to do. He saves his people. But to say... To say he saves his people, man. Like Alexandria, not Alexandria, the hill, not the hilltop, the kingdom 
was a very large place, man. Kingdom had a lot of people. And like, yeah, a lot of the uh, the troops and stuff died in the uh, fight, trying to fight Negan and stuff. They died in that field when they, when they got shot up. So all the troops pretty much died. But I could have swore the community was way bigger than that. And like, King Ezekiel helped them get away, but it was like 30 people. Like, I know they had over a thousand people at, at, the, uh, at the kingdom. So, that was kind of odd. I could have swore they had way more people. Dwight, he finally has to show his hand. And he, he winds up, he has to shoot some of the people, some of the people and stuff. Oh, before that happens, uh, Speaking of the hilltop, Maggie and them got caught on the road. So they was gave, given an ultimatum. Look, y'all going to go back and produce for us or we going to kill people right now? She had to do what she had to do at that time. She had to look. Well, we, we live to fight another day. So she had to get up out of there. Uh, but back to what I was saying. Well, I forgot what I was saying. But I'm going to go to uh, to Eugene. So Eugene is having a hard time. With with what's going on, like his conscience is eating him up, his conscience is, is killing him. So he trying he turned into alcohol and, and this and that, doing what he has to do to survive. But it's not the right thing. Not always the right thing, saving your own ass. So but he doing that. Uh, he he finally has a, a sign of kind of a conscious moment, and he kind of saves. Father Gabriel, he goes in there like, oh, 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 oh. you know how he talk, he talk that bullshit, but he, he left some keys for him, for him to leave, like, yeah, you, you letting him go now, but he's on his deathbed, so I don't know how much that's helping, but Ricky, Ricky's, he winds up getting back to his community, and a lot of the people, they get back to the community also. And they they go in the sewer system, but Michonne she goes through the front gate basically. She like, man, fuck this. She she finally had her breaking moment. She couldn't take it anymore, and she went there wrecking shop. Like she was in there looking like Leonardo with with the katana. She was she, 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 tearing them up. But my highlight of this episode was when Rick Rick and uh, Negan finally got their fight on. So that was. A bright spot in the episode. Even you, Negan kind of snuck him in, and Rick wasn't wasn't all the way there. He wasn't all the way himself because he was kind of hurting because he got snuck. But Rick Rick was handling his business. He had the moment. Like that's that's something I don't like about The Walking Dead. Sometimes sometimes they just do some bullshit. But speaking of bullshit. If they wouldn't do the bullshit, if they was realistic, like they had so many times where Rick and them had like guns to their heads and stuff and people would have died or people got shot right on the side of them and they lived. So I can't be too mad at it when it happens in other people's uh, favor, I guess. But Rick finally gets, gets a, uh, he grabs something. Ow! He caught Negan with a nasty ass uppercut. But he gets Lucille. Alright, Lucille is like this. So he could, found that Negan up. No, he grabs the butt up and hits, hits Negan like that. Why? Like, he grabbed the bat. <laughs> grabbed the bat and bash his brains in. Like, that was, they had so many opportunities with Negan. So many opportunities and they didn't seize it. So Negan wise we getting the upper hand. He knocks Rick out of the thing. But, to make a, a long story a little shorter, because it's still long, the moment we've been waiting for, we wanted to see what moment is going to change The Walking Dead forever. Like, what's, what's going to happen? It's all, all the way to the end of the episode. Like, I don't know what's... Like, Rick didn't die and this and that. They go in... He, he winds up getting to Michonne. They go in the sewer system. So... They go, they go in the sewer. He sees the Alexandrians. They safe. So happy about that. All the people, the people are safe and sound. He sees little ass kicker. Little ass kicker, she, she's safe. 
sees all the people. Daryl and them. He walks to the back. He, he winds up seeing Sadiq. I guess Carl went to the woods and we got Sadiq. And then he sees Carl. And Carl is looking looking rather distressed. And the moment we've been waiting for. What would change the walking death forever? Carl! He's gotten bit. That's that's crazy. Like of all the people, he's one of the people we wouldn't have thought would have went out like that. Would have just would have died. Like we thought Carl was in for the long run. And <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Just the the Negan whistle, but man, Carl Carl. Coral gonna die. Man, that is gonna affect the hell out of Rick. That's gonna. Because you seen like times whenever whenever Rick had to defend Carl and he bit homeboy neck out and stuff and he did a lot of stuff for Carl, man. Like Carl is his heart. That's his last living family member, pretty much. They got a little ass kicker, but. Even Rick said in the series, man, he like, I know she's probably not mine. That's, that's kind of, that's shame, daughter. So blood, relatives, like that's his last real family. That's the last piece of the old world he has. And man, the Carl, Carl, Carl gonna be dead, dog. Like, that's gonna, we're gonna see if, if it inspires him to lead the people. And take Negan down once and for all, or will he go into a depression? Will he, will he want to give up? Will everybody else have to pick him up? Is is gonna be something we're gonna have, we're gonna have to see for the next season, man. But this is a big change, even though like the last, the few, I think the last few seasons and stuff, like Carl hasn't been. He hasn't even been around his father in them that much, man. Like he, he's kind of played a, a back role recently. He's, he's been kind of a babysitter, pretty much. Yeah, he ain't been doing too much. But Carly was growing up to be a young man. Uh, I think like behind the scenes and stuff. Like he been on the show since he was a little boy, man. He time to spread his wings. He probably got other little acting roles that that he uh want to pursue. So that that's a good thing for the the person as an individual, but for the Walking Dead universe, is is it hurts. But we wish uh Chandler Thomas, Chandler Carson, whatever Chandler something, whatever his name is, wish him the best, and hopes hopes he's successful in whatever venture he he does after the show. But it's sad to see him go. We are gonna see what what happens, Morgan. He's behind the fence looking at, at uh you at uh well listening to King Ezekiel and them. So I hope he says King Ezekiel. But we'll see. Mid season finale down. We'll wait till February. I think it's February. And see where the rest of the season goes. Fuck with your boy, like, comment, subscribe, and be the greatest of the most hated.